All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect, Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson, and uh, this one I saw uh, from a report, basically from the Uprising Channel, um, and uh, he was breaking it down on what's going on with the government, and uh, it looks like it's going to be another government shutdown. All right. And uh, meanwhile, you got all this calamity, woes and tribulation, you know, people uh, vexed in the spirit, they distressed going on in the world because we're living through Bible prophecy, man. All right. Now, I want to read a quick precept and then I want to play this video uh, clipping, you know, because, um, you know, you never know, you know, this could actually be it, you know, and it could take things into that gear where um, where the Lord is speeding things up. You know, speeding this up for the elect's sake, but going into, um, you know, more tribulation. You know, more draconian laws are being passed. You know, uh, just earlier, uh, uh, there's another another thing that's going on. You got certain schools over here in Jersey that kids are going home virtual again. You know, because it's like it's all lining up. The government going on a shutdown, or it looks like it. Cause they're not making ends meet as far as you know making uh giving the government money or whatever the case may be but um you got the schools are lining up with this they're going back home virtual you know they say for seven days right now but um you know this could be it man now i want to read this precept this is second address chapter 15 verse 1 all right it says behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth saith the lord and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. And it says the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled all right so the lord is going to send forth plagues and he's doing that he's been doing it now when you look up the word plague right the word plague means disease okay it means um contagious bacteria diseases you know fever delirium all right but it also gives you another um another definition which says cause continued trouble or distress to and that's what the Lord is doing right now. He's causing a continued trouble. Every day, there's something uh, bringing uh, distress to you, you know? Being that you can't even get certain jobs unless you get the Satan's juice. You might be losing your job right now, you know? Um, or you're afraid that your job has got a deadline and, you know, you might lose it down a couple days from now, a week or two, you know? Um, shortages going on right now on supplies and things like that the government is shutting down all right you got distress going on in australia they're fighting back the government for all the draconian laws that's being passed out there you know upon those people you know it, it's things going on all around the world as the scriptures say so this word plague also means um cause continued trouble or distress to now back in second edges 15 and verse uh three it says uh, uh verse four for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right? So what's coming behind these plagues is the sword, man. And that sword means to cut, meaning you're going to be destroyed, man. It tells us in second, uh, excuse me, Jeremiah, that the Lord is going to do what? Uh, uh, send forth grievous deaths, man. And that grievous you go into it means disease man all right the word plague also means disease but also continued trouble man because when you're diseased you have a continued trouble within the body you know it's like torture man you know so anyway it says um it says um the, it says the sword famine meaning the lack of food and water death it says and destruction and it says, verse 6, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, it says, therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue 
no more as touching their wickedness. When they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. So like it. All right. So the Lord is not going to hold back anymore. All right. Eventually, in these, in these coming time, in this near future, hey, the Lord is going to bring it, man. You know, he's going to bring it. All right. He's going to see. It's going to get ugly, man. You know, and this could be the time where this government never comes back uh, uh, in, in, um, in order the way it used to be because it's all a part of the plan. It's the most highest plan and it's also these elites, you know, plan because they think, you know, that they're going to win, but they're going to lose, you know. So, you know, this is just a, a report basically. So let's play this video here. Because apparently the government by the end of September, excuse me, October is about to go broke. That's what they claim. Oh, the government is about to go broke. Can you make it up? Tonight, the clock is ticking for Congress to meet two crucial deadlines to avoid both a government shutdown and a default on payments. Fueling the threat, infighting within the Democratic Party and partisan brinksmanship. CBS's Nicole Killian reports. Tonight, the federal government in limbo, one week before funding is due to run out. A shutdown is inconceivable, abhorrent, repugnant. The White House officially put federal agencies on notice today, warning it is preparing for any contingency. The 2019 shutdown lasted 35 days and cost the economy $11 billion. But a shutdown now during a pandemic could impact the CDC and NIH. We'll keep government open. Congressional Democrats and Republicans remain deadlocked over the spending measure, which includes aid for Hurricane Ida and Afghan refugees. But the real disagreement is over a provision to suspend the debt limit so the government can keep paying its bills, which so far Republicans are refusing to do. Is there anything that can change your mind? I'm not going to increase a debt limit to, re to spend another $5 trillion in the next month. U.S. officials say failure to act could risk catastrophic damage to the economy. A default could wipe out nearly six billion jobs. Can you count them? Jody Lamberti, who runs a daycare out of her home, hopes hers isn't one of them. It could mean losing my business. It could mean losing my home, losing my car. The Senate is expected to vote on the government funding bill in the coming days, but there's no See, and that's and that's that's why the Lord said he comes like a thief in the night. You know, these people have no clue what time they're living in, man. You are gonna lose everything. You are gonna lose your car. You are gonna lose your home. Because that's the that's the time and the season that we're living through, man. Or we're going into. All right. We're we're in the time where the Lord is gonna destroy this place. You know, and they think that this economy is gonna pick itself back up. And being naive and, and, and really sottish to the point that the prophet's been telling you it's coming true. All right? But these people are so asleep that they're going to be destroyed, man. You know? They're going to be destroyed, man. Not a lot of hope it'll pass given the current divide, which doesn't leave Congress much time to find a fix. Margaret? The clock is indeed. Hey, and, and call halal la, yahawah ba shimmy shah because... You know, this is beautiful, man. This is what we've been looking for. You know, the prophets of the Lord, the men of the Lord. You know, we know that through this uh, downfall of Esau is the, is, is the beginning of Jacob that followeth, man. Because we're going into the kingdom. All right? Yahweh Shai is going to fight for his elect and for that remnant, which is his. Okay? See, the problem is you Edomites, they think that they're going to, uh, this plan of theirs is going to work and everybody's going to be a transhuman. We're going to have uh, technology in our bodies and all this, and we're going to be so under control, and we're going to love it. We're not going to uh, own anything, and they're going to control us like robots. That's not happening, man. All right? That's why these elites, which the Most High created them to be the sons of the wicked, you know, they really have no understanding. But they're doing exactly the will of the Most High because the Lord is going to show his power. All right? Thank you, Nicole. So, look, 
we've heard these things so many times over and over. And of course, who wouldn't be all for it? How about we shut it down and give the government back to the people, which is what it was supposed to be from the get go. But we know this is obviously just part of their plan. They do things like this to create more chaos. They do things like this to tank the economy even more than they're already doing. And that's really what it comes down to, right? You see the stock market starting to tumble again. And I know people go, well, that always happens. Call and then it comes back and it recovers. Yeah, well, there's going to be a time when the economy doesn't recover and the market doesn't recover. Now, obviously, I've covered the World Economic Forum for a few years on here and the Great Reset and all this other crap where these people meet and not really in secret. They openly tell you what they're going to do. And like zombies, everybody just goes, oh, okay. Well, one of the topics, of course, they have with the Great Reset is resetting the economy. Well, the only way you can reset an economy is by destroying the economy. So some of the videos, if you scroll through World Economic Forum money within the last year, creating a credible and and trusted digital currency, resetting currency, balance of cryptocurrency regulation. Yeah, because that's what it's all about. That new currency is going to be digital, which they want to put it into the karagma, which the karagma goes inside the body. All right. Which the scriptures speak on in Revelations 13 and 16. He calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their forehead. All right. This prelude of the Satan's juice is nothing but just a red carpet, man. Okay, it's just a red carpet to pave the way for the karagma. All right, you know, uh, you know, brothers, go watch the rest of this video. I don't want to linger on too long. You know, I made the point. You know, hey, we gotta pray, pray, man. You know that the Lord shorten the days for the elect's sake. You know, this is beautiful times to be in. You know, so we gotta pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know that you know sooner or later, hey, this shit gonna be over, man. You know, the economy could crash throughout all of this, man. We're going into the dark winter, you know, We're going into winter. You got schools over here in Jersey that kids are back virtual for seven days because they're saying the numbers going up. So here we go, you know, you know, so all we can do is continue to pray, you know, and ask the Lord to show mercy, man. You know, that's why, um, you know, uh, the apostles uh, this week, you know, uh, you know, made me think about uh, the word passion. You know, passion, why it's a must that we need passion. See, uh, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone because the Lord gave them the spirit of passion, and that passion that's on them rubs off on us, man. And that's why it's important to be firm in, in the work, you know, because it really, you know, it helps us to uh, be closer with the Lord, man, you know, to really understand these times and really know what's going on, man, and know, and really, to really, really understand what we're into, man. You know, because there's a lot of groups, the Israelite men out here, that really don't know what they're into. They're in this thing for um, money, you know. They're in this thing for to get more women, you know. They're in this thing for, current, for, 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 the, for the flesh. And it's not. It's not for the flesh, man. It's really for the world to come. So we're living through the spirit. We're living for the next world to come. We're living for the Lord, hopefully, to have mercy on us and deliver us from this shit, man. You know? So hopefully, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom. Passion. All right. <laughs>